so before I get started, I thought I'd bring up the camera today. Um, you can see that there's already been a lot of progress. This here is the progress that I've done. I've decided to make a run. You can see the run as part of where the main chicken coop is. And that's just to give them more room, especially because I have six chickens now. At least they'll always have a place to run around, peck around. I've already taken them around here. They like it. So basically, let me show you what this is. This is called hardwire cloth. Now, what I'm doing is on one side, I have the hardwire cloth on this inside here, and I've already dug it a foot deep in. So today, what I'm going to try to finish is both, but I'm probably only gonna finish one before getting really tired. But I'm going to take this plank I have here, this is pressure treated uh, wood, and I'm going to dig this in a foot. That way that this has about half of this is gonna be in the ground, and the other half is going to be preventative of, let's say, coons or, or bobcats or anything else from digging underneath, basically dragging the chickens out to their death. And then on this side is where you'll see I'll get the chicken, uh, uh, this hardwire cloth will be dug deep in there. And that serves basically the same thing. Um, why am I using the cloth here, but I'm using the plank here, honestly? I had extra plank, so I said, why waste it? And why waste this cloth here? And then, yeah, here this is welded wire. So this is not chicken wire. I know chicken wire always says, oh, it's chicken wire, but truthfully, it's useless. It's, it's good for keeping chickens in an area, but not good for getting anything else from getting into the chicken area. So that's definitely why, you know, you need something welded. This is welded here. That way that the raccoons can't just, you know, pry it open. And that's why I also have provided this roof here on top. This is for the hawks. So the hawks can't come down and grab them. And I have this hole right in the center so that the, the roof won't droop down. And this is gonna be their little area for them to run. And that's about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get started. Uh, it's about 95 degrees. Um, so yeah, fortunately I have tan skin, so I don't tend to uh, get sunburns over this, but it still is really hot and friggin' humid, so. That's that. 